So I know what you're thinking right now. Uh, Kyle, why did you buy a mini bike when, uh, I don't know, the Nova's not done yet? Well, listen up, loser, because the sound you're about to hear is a bunny wearing a Christmas hat making love to a bald eagle. Pure American muscle. Now that I got you guys all hot and bothered, let me explain how I even found this bike. So I'm scrolling through Facebook, and I see this ad randomly pop up, 1971 Arctic Cat Prowler. And it was weird because he had that stupid price thing where it's like one, two, three, four, five. And the ad pretty much read like, I don't know how much this is worth. Can someone please give me an estimate? I start looking through all the pictures of the bike, and this thing looks so clean. Um, I know these bikes can bring in quite a bit of money. I mean, it had this patina, rust look. It looked all original, and I just fell in love with it. So then I immediately message him, and I write, sweet bike. I don't know much about bikes either, but looking for a winter project when I can't work on my Nova. Let me know when it goes up for sale, please. He immediately responds, it is. Make me an offer. It does run and great. Hmm. <laughs> It does run and great. I'm starting to think his Jameson profile picture makes a little more sense now. So then I decide to write, nice. I honestly have no idea how much to offer, but I love it. Ha ha, that's cringy. I don't want to lowball you or anything. What about $300? And he responds, I was thinking right around there. So if you want it, I'll take that. So then I asked him, what is a good time for him to meet up? And he goes, I won't be home until around 7.30, but here is like my house address and sends me the entire thing. Red flag here, definitely not going to go to a guy's house who's very willing to have me drop by. So then long story short, we eventually decide on a location to meet at. But before that, I was just like, hey, can you just send me a quick video of the bike or just running? And he sends me this creepy video. That was, uh, oh, yeah, Eric, clear, clear, Eric. Yikes, what is this, like a horror film? So now I don't know if he's starting up a chainsaw or my mini bike. Red flag number two, but I'm obviously going to ignore it. So then I kind of dig a little deeper. I'm trying to figure out why he's trying to sell a mini bike. And his response was, I live in an apartment complex and my girlfriend wants it out of the kitchen. Come on, man. You have this bike sitting in your kitchen? So then I recommended we meet up at an elementary school. Surprised he didn't question that at all. And then the transaction went smooth. The guy was actually super cool. He was just in a bad mood because his son spent $200 in Fortnite the night before. Classic. But thank you for watching. I'm going to post more videos of the mini bike in the future i just like to mix things up with this new format so be sure to give it a like hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'll see you guys again bye